What's up, friends? These are the Black Ember Shadow Bags, which just came out. I feel like these bags were designed just for me. It comes in two sizes, a 26 and a 22, or a 20. Which size do you need? We're gonna get into that in a second. I have been using the 26. Now, the shadow, the shadow. To me, this is a shadow of the kinds of things that Black Ember has been making in the sense that they have used all super weather resistant, hardcore, durable materials. And sometimes their bags can feel a little stiff. So this to me is the opposite of that. This is the shadow version of that. You like that little tie in where it's actually got some drape to it. Okay. I'm going to walk you through my favorite things about this bag right now. Hardcore, durable, weather resistant materials that aren't too rigid in use. When I first saw the designs for this, I was really worried about the access to this front pocket. What was going to feel like to be putting stuff in and out of this front pocket, but I've been pleasantly surprised. It has its own little bit of dimension in this whole front pouch. You could see these little corners up here and that is what makes all the difference in the world. It makes this side flop in a little bit when you're getting in. It makes this side come out a little bit. It's still a bit tight and I personally use it just to basically throw my power thing. You know, it links to my power thing below in case you want advice from me on what power brick you should get for your computer. YKK AquaGuard zips that actually zip really easily one-handed. I like that nice big sort of tarpaulin hypalon type zipper poles that are easy to grip it and rip it. I like that, but the water seal on this is really you know, I was gonna say sincere. It's a very sincere <laughs> seal, but it's significant. Handles on the top and both sides here also can do a really cool briefcase mode, which maybe is a little, a little floppy. The fact that the materials aren't so rigid make it a great backpack and maybe less of a great briefcase, but for some of you who need to stow away the straps and just carry it in briefcase mode, they got you covered. Though I would say the handles themselves are a little bit floppy. I think that's one little place for improvement in the future, Black Ember. That's maybe more just my point of view because I like to leave this top bit open. It sort of like keeps it nice and closed. I have access to my stuff easily enough. And when you do that, you get a little more floppiness in use. It's super spray it with a jet of water a bowl, right? Really weather resistant. I've definitely noticed some of that in use, but for the most part for me, it's the dirt and the weather sort of resistance, the dirt, this, the lint, the, that kind of stuff. It does a good job of keeping that off. Sloughs right off. I'm just saying in case there's not a lot of jet streams of water in your life. Black Ember have a proprietary bond and stitch process that makes the edges really nice looking and really weather resistant. The main external material is Microhex HTX 840D HT nylon cross weave. But there's actually three layers of material here. The inside layer you can see up here is really water resistant. It's totally covered. It's totally coated with something. Apparently there's three layers here though. Overall, I think just a really cool like drape to the fabric, how it works. Such a technical bag, but to have like kind of regular looks. It's not regular, it's, it's sleek. It's a little Elon Musk, but it's like a little Elon Musk if he did a little more CrossFit, right? This is like the upgraded version of a GORUCK bag, right? Your thoughts on that? What I like about this is nice city vibes, right? But with massive weather and dirt resistance. Thanks, Black. Black Ember. The bag has got some really solid daily carry comfort. Nice techie straps that hide easily. Definitely not a strap to wear uh, on bare skin. Some of you with bigger necks, you're gonna notice that the, the mesh material here will be rough on like, if you're wearing like thin straps, ladies, or something like that, you won't, you won't like this because it's a very kind of rugged mesh built for breathability. So it has a little bit of a harshness to it, I think, on regular, you know, regular baby blue skin. You know what I mean? It's just skin blue and baby skin. You know what I'm talking about, soft skin. The largest organ in your body. The strap hiding and handles are actually kind of nice in use. You can cut, you can clean it up for, if you're taking it on a road trip, you don't want the straps flopping around or if you're just carrying it by the handle for a little while. Features a very cushy suspended laptop pocket 
and a tablet pocket, both of them with some padding built in. Okay, then at the top front of the inside of the bag, this thing can sometimes be a little cumbersome in use, right? You don't normally flop it down like this. I'm just doing this so you can see where this is. As you hold this up, that's up there, right? This is like this built-in, I'm a little bit sad it's not removable. That's the first thing that I saw and thought. I was like, oh shit, that thing's removable. Because that would be kind of interesting. Because it's got this little magnetic guy and a flap that once you open it up, you can see this uh, accordion style tech organizer pocket. This front face right here is quite like rigid. It's got a nice thick panel in there. I think it's great materials and layout for organization and I like this accordion style. You got decent visibility and it all compresses down. That compressing down thing is kind of nice. I actually use this for my uh, my shotgun mic, a camera battery, and then an ND filter. And so it actually pulled and compressed my shotgun mic down with its foamy, you know, sort of windscreen on it. And that way I had all my essential camera stuff. I put my camera in here, just unprotected. Some of you that's gonna, some of you that's gonna make you shit your pants. <laughs> Probably should make me shit my pants. And I was glad to have that compression sort of pulling that up here. But I will say that getting in and out of the bag can be a little bit cumbersome just by nature. The fact that you have this hard panel with some edges right here, stuff can get caught on it trying to get it out. So this is a really big feature on this bag, right? Arguably you could cut this out, but please don't buy this bag <laughs> if you're gonna cut that out because that's just such a an important part of this bag's identity. I, I know some of you are actually gonna be thinking about cutting that out if you don't use it the way that they're wanting you to use it. If you can already see how you're gonna organize in this thing, what you're gonna, what you're gonna organize in it, right? Then this is a really solid option for you. By the way, there, at the back of this, there's a cable pass through that goes to the front main pocket. So some of you, that that's pretty dongle Rodney-ish, right? So if you can already smell the kinds of things that you're gonna organize in this thing, you're stoked. If you're not sure how you're gonna use this, I will say this is end up being right at some of the most important real estate on the bag. And because of that drape that I like so much with art, which arguably behind this panel, we could have put a little, they did put some more structure behind there. We could put a little bit more maybe, but because that's where that pocket is. So if you have heavy stuff, in there, you're just gonna notice it. I'll say this magnet can get a little bit fussy because you have to pull down and then you can't close it one-handed. You have to, or you can, but you have to lift up this thing. That thing should not flop down, right? That thing should have a piece of glue. I would, I would glue, try to glue that there so it stays there. It doesn't serve me when it comes down like that, except for in the fact that it actually can help me seal a little bit. Maybe that would be a problem. But when this is in the bag, you actually have to, kind of get away from it a bit, and pull it down and then up, you'll get used to it. It's fine, but it's just a little fussy, right? Most of this bag's pretty simple and that's what I like about it. That's a bit fussy. I think it's worthy of becoming indispensable in your life. It is, the, the use and the functionality of it isn't so inefficient that you can't use it or that you're really gonna get like frustrated with it. It is worthy, totally. I, I, that's my sense, but you gotta work the way it wants to work, right? But Black Ember are kinda, you know, they're shooting for the fences here. I, I like that. In fact, you're gonna see, maybe I'll show you this. This is their sling that has the same thing as this inside of it. For me, that makes me wanna have this and I'll throw that into my bag and then I don't need this, right? This is two, you have both, you have both. Okay, so there's two sizes. Which one do you need? There are some organizing bits on the inside of the front panel. Then there's the laptop and tablet sleeves on the back panel. The rest of the internal space is just open capacity. And it opens fully clamshell, so you can get lots of visibility on your stuff, but also all your stuff can just easily fall out, right? So here's the capacity of the 26. Can you see back in here? There's, there's like a, there's, there's like maybe three inches on this panel here, and then another inch on this one here. The laptop and tablet, for some reason this really like uh, lips forward a little bit and always looks kind of funky to me, but it's a good spot for your um, uh, your
<coughs> um, your, your papers, uh, business papers, man. But I will say having that business paper spot and the laptop spot, we do cut into the space. So this 26 for me is the one that I have to go with. Cause I want to fit my camera. I want to fit my uh, helmet head pouch right here. And then I want to fit the, like whatever my daily carry little guy on top. And then I've got my tech pouch like built in here with just a few essentials for my camera, my laptop and tablet and business papers, man. And then this front pouch where I keep my, basically just my uh, like one dongle that I need and my power charger. So at 26, I'm all full up. Now my 11 year old son loves this bag. I love this in the 22 liter size. I just think this is, really good size, well, a good looking bag for people of small to medium sized torsos, right? I think this is just, it's so nice and tight, but for myself personally, it was a little too tight carrying my camera and pouches in here. They just didn't fit efficiently, right? I could get it in, but was it comfortable? While we're here, this little organization on the front, there's a zipper and that goes down and it's like mesh on one side and not mesh on the other. And then there's this little pouch, which is apparently where your water bottle needs to go. There is somewhere I saw on their website or something, some sort of external fit thing that you can hook a water bottle to, but I haven't, I, they didn't send that to me. If you're a small to medium sized frame and you have more of a bespoke way of carrying, like a little spot for, like you don't carry much and a little spot for everything, which good about this is a really minimal carry, would be great in this. Cause then you have a little extra room left over for throwing something, you know, but like if you're just carrying a tablet and then like I, maybe you want a smaller bag, but I think this just looks really good for the size. If you are not super bespoke or minimal in your carry, then I would probably recommend the 26. This episode is brought to you by Matterful.co. This is my website where I keep lists of the gear that I think is worthwhile in modern life, not just bags. I've just updated my men's and unisex clothes. I've also updated my current everyday sort of use items. I will link to those below. And I will also share a link to my favorite CBD, company because like you might need CBD and they're not paying to advertise here, but I like this company because it's made in America, right in Colorado. They take really good care of their plants. Shout out to One Farm. I'll link below if you click and purchase that supports the channel, but matterful.co get on the email list there because I'm going to try to get these guys to give a couple of these away coming up when we pass 100,000 subscribers on this channel. Okay, here's my summary on the bag, okay? First, I do love this little, these little Hypalon tabs that you hold when you zip. It's well designed. This is the first thing to notice. You can see it in how it looks. I think it looks really sleek and slick. I think it has a nice like feel just by how it looks. I love the way the fabric drapes and I love how technical the fabric is. Super comfy back panel with excellent straps that you're gonna like. You're gonna like this back panel as long as it's not on bare skin. The tech panel inside better be something you have a little bit of a plan on how you're going to use. Like I said, it's tantalizing because it looks it looks so good, but in use, it might feel a little more cumbersome. But if you need this for some sort of specific organization and you know it, clap your hands. Ultimately, nice and easy front access pocket. I like that I can access it easy and it has a little bit of volume in it. A little bit lighter than I'd like capacity in the main compartment because the laptop pocket, your water bottle, since there's no outside water bottle, your tech sort of panel, the tech panel that's built in up front. But here's the deal. All in all, this is a, absolutely a contender for a bag that's worthy of you just going like, okay, I'm done with all the bags. Like I'm gonna carry the way that this thing wants me to for a while. So great work, Black Ember. If you do purchase this bag, let me know and use my link below. It supports the channel. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We're growing our audience here. We're interested in modern tools for a good life. Okay, that's it. Modern tools for good life. That's pretty good. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in having less stuff, right? Don't have more than you need. Like have everything that you need, but hopefully it's not that much stuff, right? Sticking to the things that matter. This is how we can call our life and we can be more focused with our time, right? God.
I'm halfway through Matthew McConaughey on Joe Rogan. I like how Austin has, has like a mascot. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. He's a good one. He's a good one, I think. I know you have a lot of options when you fly the friendly skies of YouTube, so please subscribe if you're interested in this kind of rant and banter back and forth. Shout out to my patrons. My patrons support me, and they help put oatmeal and granola on the table in the morning at the Reeves house. Thank you. Merci. And vaya con Dios. See you guys.